Hello everybody, I wanted to get one more kind of Christmassy video in before Christmas, so I thought I would try out a Christmas makeup look. <laughs> I don't know how this is actually going to turn out. It may be not great. It may not work for anybody else but me. Uh, that's why I'm really not sure about calling it a tutorial until after I've already done everything, but hopefully it'll be kind of okay looking. I decided I kind of want to do something not super traditionally Christmas looking, meaning like not like something red and just red. Red is what I associate with Christmas. I actually thought it would be cool to do something more themed around like sugar plums, which I don't see a lot of like purple festive looks, like holiday kind of looks. This also doesn't even have to be a Christmas tutorial. It could be like New Year's or any holiday really around this time don't celebrate christmas or you see this after christmas maybe it'll still work for whatever you have planned <laughs> i already have a little bit of makeup on because i was out running errands today and i didn't want to look like a fucking zombie this is going to be slowly focused on the eyes anyway so if you're here for like a full face sorry but this ain't for you <laughs> so, so at least i'm just gonna start now because i don't know what else i'm, I'm i was gonna say i'm going to take a somewhat matte I, I would like it to be matte, but I, I don't have one on me right now. Take kind of a matte-ish, like, mauve color? I don't know. I'm just gonna lay that on my eyelid as, like, a base color. Don't want it to be, like, too dark or anything. I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see it a little bit. We really just want it to be subtle. I will get closer. Can you see? Looks like I punched myself in the eye. Yeah, that's what we want. Oh yeah. Hopefully you can't see my dry skin when I get all up close and personal with the camera. So we're just doing a little bit just because I don't want the darker colors just to sit on my skin. So this will help them slide around a little bit. Now that we have that down as a base, I'm going to take something that's quite a bit darker <laughs> and a little more pigmented to go over it but not quite out as far as I just went. So I'm taking this beautiful shimmery like purple color, not on that brush. And I'm going to kind of pat it a little bit onto, I don't have anything on this brush, but I'm just showing it like here. You see that? You see where the rest of that is? It's gonna go like right there. So I'm just gonna do a little bit for now because I don't remember how pigmented this color is. And we're just gonna pat that. Okay, not not too bad. We're gonna just pat it. I'm not trying to blend it or anything. I'm just patting it on there. Get a little bit more. Pat it on there some more. Not taking it really anywhere else other than that outer corner. And right up in the eyeball right there, yeah. Cog it all up in there. So we're just packing that on there as much as you want. Like, you can get it to whatever intensity you want it to be just kind of packing it in like small circles around so that i spread it a little bit but not too far and then i'm gonna feather it just a little bit on some of the edges we've got this going on right now it doesn't look great on camera but in person it looks really nice so i'm going to take my fluffy brush again and get a little more of that first color. If you're wondering what I'm using, which you don't definitely do not have to use, the first color I use is a Sephora shade in Safari, I think. Safari N319. I don't know what any of that means. The more pigmented purple that I used is a Suva Beauty shade Barbecue. Barbecue. <laughs> We're gonna take that first shade again, just a little bit on a brush. And we're going to blend out our edges a little bit. So I'm going to take it into my inner corner quite a little bit too this time. And if you blend a little too much, that's okay. You can still pack some more into that center area that we were working on. I just like to blend as I go. Some people like to blend towards the end. But I'm, I'm someone who definitely likes to blend as I go just to make sure everything's looking good. Can you see it? Hopefully, and then I'm going to blend a little bit again. Again, like, 
I like to blend as I go. So if that bugs you, you don't have to do that. Basically, it looks not great, I realize, but I am going to refine it just a little bit before we move on to another step. So spend whatever time you want trying to get it to whatever pigmentation you want or whatever blendedness you want it to have. Totes up to you. And then we'll move on to the next step. I don't know if I always turn that back. So now that I have mine at a point that I'm pretty happy with, we're going to move on to the fun part, which is the shimmeriness, even though that was a shimmer, but whatever. I'm going to experiment with something and it might turn out awful, so just bear with me for a second. I have this loose pigment. I don't know exactly what this brand is. It's confusing, but my color is pretty petal and it's this loose pink shimmer. What I want it to do may not be what it wants to do. So we'll see what happens. So I'm just going to take a little bit as much as like, like that's a good amount. I don't know. Like just a little tiny bit. And I'm going to put it on my inner corner. And I'm just going to blend it. Oh yeah. I couldn't remember how intense that was. It's really not that intense at all. Can you see? It's a light, light, light pink. You probably can't even see that at all, but... It's there and I know it's there. This next step is totally optional. I just really love highlighter. So I'm going to take my whitest shimmery highlight and I'm going to take my tiniest little thin baby brush and I'm gonna put it on my brow bone right there. I don't do this a lot, just with looks I feel need a little extra <laughs> I'm gonna also put it a little bit over that pink just to lighten it up because it went on a little too pink for my liking. <laughs> Taking that same tiny little brush, I'm gonna take my same colors from the eyelid, my top eyelid and just run them along my bottom eyelid. I normally do this part after concealer but before mascara, but since I already had mascara on, uh, we're just skipping a step there. I'm just taking both colors in the same order and layering them over each other the same way. I'm going to keep the darker shimmery or purple on the outer corner. If you have a better shimmery white, that would be so good because mine's pretty shit. That's pretty much it for the eye look. I wanted it to be simple and wearable. I'm going to go do it on my other eye really quick and I'll be right back so you can get like the full effect. So that's it. Um, my lipstick didn't have enough time to mat down, but if you want a glossy look, this is how it looks with the gloss, but I did a matte look, so that was just like a personal preference of mine. It totally is up to you what you want to do. Um, I know this isn't like the most impressive makeup look ever, and that was kind of my goal. I wanted to do something super wearable and kind of easy for anyone to do. Not everybody is really into that whole like glam thing. This may even be too much makeup for a lot of people, but for people like me who don't know how to do eyelashes and contouring and stuff like that, I consider this to be kind of a special occasion look. Normally I would have like eyeliner on too, but I didn't really feel like doing that. So, you know, things like that are really personal preference. They're optional. You can do them or you don't have to do them. I did put on some blush and some highlight, but I'm happy with it and I would go to a party like this. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was maybe something that you could see yourself doing in the future. If not, I hope it was just fun to watch. This is not my last video for 2019, but I hope everybody has a good rest of their year and a good holiday season for whatever you celebrate. Be safe and I will hopefully see you next year after my next video is posted. I forgot to say that in that video. So this is me wishing you a happy new year. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye bye. You can't even see my fucking sweatshirt. I put this on especially for this video uh, why is my neck so red what did i do